Hatz Maul, books and lectures are all about the profundity of heathenry, the key to understanding the abyss of meaning in our spiritual and cultural heritage. No one knows how old, orally conveyed, we think, for ages, then written as manuscripts on height. Now, why would I be telling? Because we are illiterate and poorly educated. We do not see the allegory in myths and sacred poems. We are illiterate on symbolic language. This counts for utter lack of understanding what abyss of truth and what profound science of life they convey. We do not learn anywhere why we choose to be born. No one seems to know nowadays. We are not taught what is the purpose and goal of our lifespans. What kind of education is this? We do not know that we are consciousness. Our expensive old institutions seem to be all about blind belief in the letters. This we shall amend by understanding our spiritual heritage, heathenry. Our spiritual heritage, the Edda poems and ancient Norse myths, contain the most profound science, knowledge, wisdom, science of consciousness, and physics, fully agreeing with the modern quantum physics. You will be amazed when I tell you that Freya, our beloved goddess, is space-time foam, correlating also to European goddesses whom we know. And I shall tell you that Oven uses wormholes to access the meat of wisdom. How did our ancestors know more than modern physics? We will learn that the act of transcending is found in Havamal, the famous Norse Edda poem, called here Nisa Neder. And by transcending, we gain skill in action in life, Fimbul Runir. Very handy and practical. Less effort, better results in every act. No time-consuming and draining errors and flaws anymore. We shall use etymology to see where from terms and names in Norse mythology come. Find the roots and etymon of meaning. That reveals a whole lot. Valhöll, Valhalla, is for us fully alive. Valhöll is for living men. Valhöll is a heightened state of consciousness, enlightenment. Val is from Sanskrit, Val. Here to return home, come back home, where we belong, fully alive, enlightened men. Stop confusing Valhöll with that later time rubbish of some dead man's abode. We shall learn about Pashupati, Fjaur, Father, and Karkotaka. Our snakes and serpents convey wisdom, symbolism, symbolize something precious, perhaps for now hidden from us, something we should hear. Serpents are even healing power. Serpents are nothing of that later time churchianities, ambiguous inventions like uh, temptation, death, sneaky devil, nor any luring evil. The animals are not animals. The horns are not horns. Odin Vili Vie, some movement beginning in Ginnungagab, by curiosity, seeking knowledge. That has consequences. Bumira pong nalo vayu. Kam mano. Burihir evacha. Ahankar. Itime. Bena prakiti astata. Perhaps our primordial life giving cow oedumbla is mahat. That which first is created that nourishes all life. What are our gods in the universe? They are presidents of the laws of nature. Personifications are a trap. Do not see gods and goddesses as people having sex or fighting. Personifications are a trap. Worldly phenomena are meant to explain, but the listener must be pure enough to understand the profundity, see through the cues into himself. Do not believe in the letter. Belief is a tricky business. Go for the true meaning. I shall lead you to that. We have karma kanda, upasana kanda. Jnana Kanda, for men on different stages of evolution and understanding. But everyone should learn to transcend Nisa Neder. That is the most natural and the easiest that any man can do. We gain insight and wisdom when we transcend to the abyss of our pure consciousness. That is Nisa Neder. Rid ourselves of Triguna and thereby the duality of our worlds. Nistra Kunyo Bhav, be without the Triguna for a while every day. Gain the bit of wisdom 
gain thimble runeth to use in life? I shall explain all the terms that need to be understood in theosophical context. Here, Helia is a quiet coffee break between lifespans. As we see it, we need many lifespans to reach the goal, perfection as thy goal. Odin's name Sidhattur tells us, Siddhartaha, Urður verðandi skuld is the natural law of karma, our actions returning to their source, we make our own örlög. Valkyria serves us when we transcend to Ausgarður, fully alive, every day, twice a day. Our human nervous system is our vehicle, Sleipnir. I shall tell you why we are born. Thou shalt learn what the purpose of human life is, why and how we choose to be born. That only important issue, which we do not learn anywhere in our expensive systems and institutions. And this counts for utter lack of true education. Please understand, it is not enough to read words about it or listen to words about it. What you learn intellectually is only some tangible surface, at the best a superficial guide to the innermost truth, our consciousness, eternity, that which we are. And please do not use intermediaries. Avoid labels and institutions. I lead myself. Sjálfur leið þú sjálfan þig. We shall have to learn transcendental meditation and practice it twice daily, all our lifespan, in order to evolve fast, gain purity, find a shortcut, take the fast train to the goal of human life, fully alive in one of our lifespans, preferably the present one. One god taken out of the pantheon is only a deva, a deva, a fraction of the Vishnu deva, a fraction of the pantheon, and can never be the whole, can never be Brahman, the unified field of total natural law. A monogod can only be a frail fraction, used as a smart tool. We shall regain our forefathers' profound understanding, reveal the allegory, expose the symbolic language, live the beauty of the truth it conveys in our daily life for the benefits of all. We learn to transcend, nisa neither, really transcend, in an easy and natural way. Do not go for time-consuming fakes. Transcendence can be measured on EEG, the brain waves. We are now heading for Satyuka. The revival of truth has come down. Now many will enjoy the light and be pure. We shall no longer tolerate suffering anywhere. To eliminate all suffering is the very purpose of the heightening of the world consciousness. The whole purpose of life is to gain enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs>